What's up guys, you already know, this your girl, you already know, I'm late, I'm, I'm late, I'm late, I'm late, I'm late, make sure y'all follow me on my YouTube. Hey guys, this your girl, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, and today we doing some custom socks. So what you see right here, you see some images that I print out, I'm going to make some black and some red. And the socks are polyester, they're the, they're the long socks. And you're going to need a lint roll. And you're going to always lint roll your stuff. I repeat, lint roll, 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 roll before you press. You always want to lint roll your stuff when you're doing sublimation. Even when you're doing HTV, you want to lint roll because you want to make sure you get any type of lint or any type of particle that's on it. Because it will stick to the, um, the design and it will show up. So, if nobody never told you that, I'm telling you, lint roll, please, lint roll as much as you can. It doesn't take much to, um, to go over your stuff. You want to lint roll it, and you also want to pre-press your items before you put the design on it, whether you supplementing, whether you're doing HTV, and HTV is a short version of heat transfer vinyl. So now I'm just going to get and set my, um, turn on my heat press. I'm going to set it for 400 degrees for 60 seconds because I'm doing sublimation. Once again, 400 degrees, 60 seconds. Actually, my the this heat press is an automatic. It's an HTV run automatic heat press, and it does have um features where you can save. And I did have this at one at one point in time. I did have it saved for the four hundred degrees for sixty seconds, but I did a different project and I actually changed it. So that's why I have to redo it. But like I said, you always want to. Pre, um, pre press your um item. So I'm just putting. I just put a piece of butcher paper to line up on my um pad because you want to protect your stuff. And like I said, I'm just gonna put the socks up on here. I'm gonna press them for about ten seconds. You could do them a little longer, a little longer, whatever, whatever you feel. But you want to pre press it for a little bit to get the moisture out. So here is my design and what I'm doing now is I'm taping them together. I actually printed two sheets which is 8 by 5 by 11 and I'm just um taping them together. I did I didn't even do a split image. I just did the same design. I just printed the two out and I'm just taping it. And the way that you see the bottom is I left some of the 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 black. I didn't put the picture all the way down because I did want the bottom of the sock to have just a straight black and so now i'm just lining up where i want the design to be and then i'm just going to fold it over and i'm using heat transfer tape so these are the long ones this is not my first time doing the long size i normally do like the short size which is i kind of tape it different so bear with me so that's what i'm gonna do and it's two socks and then now i'm on the second one I'm going to repeat the same thing. I'm going to see where I want it to line up at. And then I'm going to um, tape it. I had a little problem on that part. But everything is good. And being that the socks are long, I'm going to have to press it in two settings. So I'm going to press the first one, as you see, 400 degrees, 60 seconds. And then once that stop, I'm going to slide it down and then i'm going to press it again and as you see i'm using butcher paper on top and on bottom because you want to protect your heat press so now i'm going to turn it over and repeat the same steps because remember i'm doing both sides so I turned it over, repeat the same steps, press one, then I'm pushing it down and I'm going to take it back under and let it press again.
400 degrees, 60 seconds. You cannot go wrong, God. So as you see, I showed you the ink on the paper. Do not reuse your butcher paper when you're doing sublimation. Dispose it because there's ink on it. And as you see, white socks down now. We have black socks with pictures on it. How cool is that? You can always customize some type of shirt, socks, drawers. Yes, I said drawers, underwear, <laughs> hats, anything. Anything. So, now we're going to do the second set, which are going to be um red. We're going to make some red socks with the pictures on it. They, they look, the, the kids look the same, but they're actually um, first cousins. Their um brother and sister um kids that actually they actually do look the same. So um we're gonna do the we repeating the same we're gonna repeat the same stuff. So I put the socks up under it just to press it to get the any moist out. People always say, Well, how you know it's moist? It this moisturizes in inside your shirt, your socks, whatever you're you're gonna do. Please just always pre-press it to get any type of thing out. I promise you, you will see a big difference. You will see a big difference. So, like I said, we just repeat in the same steps over. I'm just um taping down my image, and once I get the image taped down how I want it, and now because I have a little bit more pictures on this one, so this one gave me a little challenge to like line it up. So, if you notice, I fold it into three. Compared to the first one, I only had to fold it into two. Just fold it in half, basically. So, you will see the difference when once it um, press and everything is done. So, like I said, this, I'm repeat, you repeat the same steps. Um, you, you line up where you want the design to be at on your socks. It's the same way if you're doing a shirt. You want to line it up to make sure... And then, like I said, we're going to press it the same way. We're going to press it 400 degrees for 60 seconds. You're going to, um, and I noticed I didn't have my butcher paper. Now, and I'm like, it didn't hit me until after when I, um, when it came out. And I'm like, wait a minute. I'm still doing it. I'm like, hold it. You see, I, I caught that. I put the butcher paper on. So definitely want to always try to make sure you... Use your butcher paper because you don't want the ink to transfer onto your heat press because then that same ink could go on to another. How can I say it? that same ink? It'll be stuck on your heat press. You will never know it, and you can be pressing something else, and that ink will transfer over onto that. So say I'm doing these socks and and the red pressing into. I didn't protect it, and I let it go over, and then now I'm going to have red. I go to press a white shirt, I'm going to have the red ink. So, yeah, that's why I say protect your stuff. So, here are the red socks. Tell me that's not cute. Like, hey, there's always ways to show your loved ones how you love them and different things like that. So there you have it. You have it, the red pair and you have the black pair. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think. I think they came out cute. I normally do like the short socks, but hey, I end up doing the long ones. Leave your comments down below. And then I want to add a little bonus. So here I have to redo a cup for a, a co-worker, Ron G. He's a New York Giants fan. He said his grandkids, one of his grandkids threw his first cup out the window and and it smashed so he wanted the new one. Go Giants.